Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some... Wandering Village, shall we? Alright, so... Here is our amazing village. And... We're zooming in, we're looking at it in this kind of... Ridiculous, perspectival... 2D, 3D mashup. And here's our people doing their work. And we're collecting berries. We've got farmers all over the place. Um, we let new people join our village. We have zero idlers, and we're at 22 population. We have two kind of missions that we're working on at the moment. We are going to send out a scavenging mission, and we can um, give Anbu a horn command because we have built the horn blower. I believe we built it over here. Yep. Needs to be near the head um, of the Ambu so it can hear it. And there it is. Somebody is manning that post. And then this is our scavenger hut. Um, and it requires full staff. So we can find it in the... Um, once we've built it... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> we can open the map. And we can send out a scavenger you know, um, to a settlement. One of the few remaining settlements that has not been swallowed by the poisonous plants. Um, and this will look for villagers. So it says some villagers might want to join us on Anbu, depending on our villagers' happiness. Our villagers' mood is good. I mean, according to this, uh, they're... Well, I mean, the smiley face looks happy. So we could do that, or we could go here. Um, we could go to a forest to find food, wood, or mushrooms, things like that, if we need resources. And I feel like the thing I want the most would be more villagers. I have enough of an infrastructure of food, I, I feel like, right? Um, our surplus is 13 with the people we have, so I think we could definitely sustain and and maintain with with our food production all we'd have to do is like you know uh assign more farmers so i'm just going to send a party out there they're forming the expedition party you can see it say that and then i'm going to um return to our town by pushing tab and then uh we need to give the Anbu a horn command, and it says right here uh, we've got a new objective for knowledge. Some technologies require knowledge to research. You can gain knowledge by scavenging at certain locations such as shrines, so keep an eye out for them on the world map. And actually, if I push uh, tab to go uh, to cycle through, here's a shrine, it looks like. Um, but, you know, it's kind of far away. So if my Anbu is indeed walking this way on the map, I might want to wait until I'm a little closer to explore this. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's only intuitive that proximity would affect travel time. So that's why I kind of picked this, because we're right next to it. And the Anbu is going to sleep when it gets here. And you can see that the Anbu is um, only 71% sleepy, but is actually quite hungry. So let's go back to... Um, oops. Uh, the map. And let me kind of just check out the Hornblower and see what commands we can give. So we can show the interactions and we can tell it to lie down. We can tell it to walk. We can tell it to run. Um, and these are our horn commands. So right now we can just say walk. And we gave it a command and hopefully it'll start moving. And then... Uh, they want us to do the knowledge. So, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just unpause the game. So, I'm just going to take a look as my people are wandering around doing their thing. Um, at our resources. We need more wood. We've got some planks that we have built at the carpenter. But, we are running a little bit low on wood. Now, a lot of these trees have been assigned to be cut down. So, that's fantastic. 
and you know I assign like a bajillion plots for people to put the medical herbs into but you know right now um, we might not need doctors I don't know well here I say that and then this happens status effects certain actions like encountering a biome event cause status effects that onbu uh, the defect onbu and your village they're displayed along the top right of the screen so for example right now there's fresh air that seems good um, and uh, we can go oh okay so you can use tab to cycle but you can also just use four five and six to go to the different zones all right um what is the what is the complaint here storage is full oh well how about that well their storage is full so that's an embarrassment of riches let's build another storage this is um our pantry okay so from here can i build a duplicate is there a pipette tool uh it doesn't look like that so i'm gonna go here and I'm just going to say we're going to need to um, build ourselves a uh, pantry that's closer to the berry area. Oh, I didn't realize it was that long. That's fine, though. And I'm going to um, like set this to really high priority. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Anbu is sitting, is what it says. Oh, wow, that's wild. You can look down and kind of watch the Anbu walking or moving it, uh, from this view. Yep, now you can see the Anbu is sitting down. Anbu evacuated its bowels. I don't know if that's a detail that I necessarily needed, but... Um, oh, awaiting decision. Okay. Interesting. So, down here. I guess this is the, in the lower right. You can see there is a window that tells you what's going on with your traveling party and they must have been waiting for a while i feel bad about that awaiting your decision um you encounter a group of settlers looking for a new home will you let them join pick them up uh and we'll commit to that we got three healthy people and two hungry people that's fantastic so now um they're ready and they should be returning home i i'm guessing or wait. That is what happened there, right? I, that wasn't just some other random event. I don't think. Yep, okay, now we've gone up to 27 people. Zero idlers. Alright, and let me just check my food. So we're we're still... Looks like we're still net positive. Net 11. So I'm going to push 4, go back to our town. And... That's good to have a food surplus. And what is this guy doing? This is Kiva. And Kiva is a berry gatherer. Fantastic. All right, let's find our new people. Erie is here. All right. So let me see my population. I wonder if there's a way to, like, um, list your population. Uh, this is the Elder's Notebook. That's more like a tutorial. Okay, anyway. Um, we've got Phil and Space Cookie and uh, Reynold and Hella. Okay. So let's just start naming people. All right. Chara. Just people, friends of the channel, as it were. Mm -hmm. Do we already have a Sydney? I can't remember. It's hard to keep track. I wish there was a better way to track your entire list of population by name. I know it doesn't really, you know, probably matter too much in the grand scheme of things that they're... But I like to, to keep the names happening. Okay, and, you know... This can be uh, Captain Duck. Good. Okay, so this can be uh, Serene Pianist. 
and then let's see. I it is hard. So there is Sydney. There is Phil. I mean, do we have a Kuro? I have a Grim. I have a Dylan. All right. Well, we'll just keep going. I don't even know. Kuro. Hella is right. Chara is right. Sydney is right. Jack. Yep, that's actually right. Okay. Let's go for... Um, I mean, I'm sure I have an Alex, but we can put another one. And then there's Captain Duck. There's Serene Pianist. There's Anthony, which can easily be um, Ogre. And then anybody else that we need in our world. Uh, that's Lance. That's Kiva. All right. And they're waiting because I think their storage isn't built. So we're going to unpause it while I just kind of look around at my people. And this person is um, Hella, and she's running over to get this stack of wood. And that is Terror Kittens. And there's Grim, and, you know. There's Victory uh, Basili. I mean, do I have a Schnecken? All right, I do now. Okay. By the way, if you're watching this and you'd like to just be one of the villagers, just say so in the comments. I'll put you in here. We've got plenty of space. We've uh, just been kind of prioritizing members, patrons, and frequent commenters, but we're going to have a lot of people here, so that will far surpass those numbers. All right, so they're building this. And hopefully, um, we can get this done. Now, if I click on this, um, it does say that we have 186 total food. And that we're, we're right about breaking even. But it's interesting to wonder, like, how much food is stored here. Right? This is almost full. Like, it's full of berries. This does not store food. This stores, uh, you know, other items. Okay, so anyway, while I'm doing this, I think it's time to go back down to our scavenging party and let's open the map. And let's indeed, like, just to get this done, let's see how long it would take. It would take a day to send a party out there, but I'm going to send a party out there anyway. Let's just send a group out there to go check out the knowledge. Okay, so they're getting together and berries are happening and Alex is just pounding away and we finished this so hopefully now people can just distribute the food evenly um, we have two workers here the efficiency is 54 percent and i think that's oh that's determined by how many bushes are in the area of influence of the berry gatherer not by, based on workers i don't think uh, and then this is working out where they're planting beets and they have four workers um, and the temperature is in the middle. Um, I don't have compost, so I can't use it. But speaking of that, what am I researching at the moment? Here's our kitchen. We're making, um, beet soup. And I think I should probably switch to, uh, the berries. Because I have, like, a ton of berries. I don't have a ton of berries in the kitchen, but I can because my storage. That could have been another workaround, by the way. Um, what are you doing? You're... Um, Jack and Space Cookie are working as the doctor. I'm going to actually uh, go down to just one doctor. I don't need two. What's interesting about this game is that the workers don't appear to have skills at their job. And so what I mean is they're completely interchangeable. It's not like for the village doctor, I need this particular person to have... Um, doctor skill or any kind of special skills you know like in RimWorld that they, they everybody can just do anything and so you can just it's more about managing the efficiency of the people you have assigned to that task as opposed to making sure you're synchronizing people with the right aptitudes for a task 
All right. Oh, here's research. So we can get a feeding trebuchet, um, and we can also get a doctor. Um, I think we need the feeding trebuchet more because hunger seems to be a concern, whereas the right now my Anbu is at full health. So let's go ahead and commit to the trebuchet. We're going to launch food into its mouth. How funny is that? All right. Okay. And let's see. How's the food situation? We're actually at a minus, so uh, I could, you know, insist that more workers come over here to gather berries or more farmers work here. I think maybe one more farmer is going to be good. We're not using all the plots, so we might as well. All right. And who's working here? There's one herbalist. There's one doctor, just in case. And this seems, you know, about right. Okay. I could probably turn off the doctor altogether, but, you know, I like to have one for an emergency. We're actually finally gathering a surplus of wood. You can see we have a ton of beets and berries which is kind of why I was actually making um, the beet soup instead of the berry musili um, because I have so many beets. So I'm actually going to switch to beet soup again. And we do still have a little bit of a, a problem with food. Planks are getting pulled in. Uh, stones are getting taken care of. Worker post, research building. I have two researchers. I don't know if I really need two researchers. And, you know, the Hornblower, I don't know if I actually need somebody doing it. Maybe they will only... I hope you're not coming to go do this, by the way. Yeah, I think I only need a Hornblower when I want to blow the horn. Okay, so the, the Ombu is getting really hungry. And, oh, my research party is ready. So, hopefully they returned with knowledge. Oh, there's actually, luckily... Um, a, f a feeding spot has just appeared in the road, so that's fantastic. So let me go back to our town. And the knowledge window did disappear. So that must mean that we accumulated some knowledge. We have one knowledge open. Alright, so then that means we can give another task for our scavenging party. What do we want to do? Let's go see the ruined settlement. They didn't make it. Or what's the shrine? Oh, oh. Oh, no, it's already scavenged. Um, that's why it has a big X on it. So this is only two hours away. Um, so I'm going to send a party over there. They'll get there really quickly. I'm go back here. Unpause it. I want as many people as I can. I might need to build, like, I could build more kitchens. Like, what would I want to build? You know? Water is fine, as far as I can tell. Alright, this says, awaiting your decision. Okay. Um, this is, we must help them, let us stay for a while to cure them. And so, I don't have 30 herbs. This party enters a rundown settlement, hoping to find leftovers. Contrary to their expectations, the town is populated, but its inhabitants are suffering from a disease. That's horrible. And so what are we going to do? Well, we can only help them with water, and we're going to help them. Um, so we're going to give them water, and they thank you but have nothing to offer in return. All right, so we're just doing it out of the kindness 
of our heart. Um, and that's that's fine. It's a tough world out there. If you don't have an Anbu, you know, but you could just come join us on our Anbu and, you know, be living the life. All right, so then that means they're back. So let's, uh, let's give them something to do. Now, I'm, yeah, here's our water over here. We have uh, plenty of water stored up. But it's questions like, do I want to build another farm? Do I want to build... Uh, oh, do we have enough houses, actually? These have two beds. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh no, I don't have nearly enough beds for all my people. Whoops. We're going to need to make more beds. So let's go ahead and make tents to provide people um, with more uh, places to sleep. That was my mistake. I'm shift clicking to build a bunch more beds. People are probably upset because they don't have a place to sleep. Unless they take shifts, I don't know. All right, so let me uh, set an expedition now. And let's see. You can just kind of go to the map, I think, and click stuff. I'm going to send a party to this actual settlement. Because I'd like to get some more people. I find that I don't need to build another farm. We're not using all the plots that we have. But I do want to... Well, now our food production is doing very well. So this kind of seems to fluctuate r rather wildly and I don't know what um, was causing that or not causing that, but here we go. Maybe now that I have that extra farmer um, we're getting there. Crossroads. If you have a horn blower and are approaching a fork in the road you can give Anbu a command to tell it which path to take. Alright, um... Ambu might ignore your commands if it doesn't trust you enough. Well, fair enough, Ambu. All right, so um, which way do we want to go? North or south? I got to tell you that <laughs> in terms of the cardinal coordinate system, I mean, like, this, this does not look like north and south. These are at, like, a, you know, a 90-degree angle. Um, but... Okay, let's go north then. Ambu accepts the command. So Ambu is walking. And we're scavenging. You can see the progress bar filling up there. And I love how the map, you know, shifts as this is going on. All right. And we're still researching the food trebuchet, uh, trebuchet for Ambu, which is good because Ambu is um, really hungry, I think. No, wait. Not hungry. I'm sorry, this bar fills up as Ambu gets hungry, not decreases. Okay. And Ambu is um, not sleepy. The bar fills up. So it doesn't, like... It's not like satiety and it drains down to zero. It's hunger and it fills up to a hundred. Okay. Okay, fair enough. All right. Um, they are awaiting our decision. Um, yeah, pick up the settlers. We got... Four people. Two of them are hungry. Well, we got food. Come on in. All right, fantastic. Uh, now we have 8, 12, 16. So this is not enough beds, so we're going to need to build more tents. wonder if I can build a swanker like place for, pe for people to sleep. Probably, right? All right, I'm going to build some... Uh, tents going that way. And I think this might be saying there's not enough resources. Uh, there's not enough wood stored to build those, and that's fine. We're going to be getting wood. Population level up. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Your villagers' needs have increased. Check them in the top bar. So now they're going to start becoming more de demanding, which is unfortunate. So, um, you see that they, they want housing quality. And they want their food quality. And their food variety. So we're going to need to build another farm. 
Like, that doesn't just grow beets. Beets and berries are no longer good enough. So that's fine. We're going to go to food. And we can build a farm uh, that is, you know, over here. Uh, well, no, wait. We should build it over here by the water. Like that. And then we're going to go here and we're just going to build a road that kind of goes um, around like that, I suppose. And then we'll wait for this to get built. I'm going to build another kitchen as well. And just have it, like, cranking out more food. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me some more workers... Now, they're just going to be general workers, but they get a movement speed bonus. So, go ahead. Alright, food is still good. Let me check the map. Um, I'm going to push 6 to go to the map. And we are going north. Now, we need wood, right? So, that's understood. So, I'm going to actually send an expedition party to go get wood and see how much wood you get from doing this. Let's just check this out. They're building the tents that we asked them to build. And again, it's just like, you know, this unbelievable kind of Miyazaki, Nino Kuni feel to these graphics. It's so fantastic. All right. Just kind of looking around. There's our carpenter. Um, I don't know if I actually have any stone indicated to be harvested. So I'm going to pause it. And uh, they're waiting to go. I'm going to just say um, harvest. And yeah, I want you to harvest, but not not the ombu stuff. We don't have that. We have no stone stored, actually. There. All right. That should give people some jobs. Okay, they already came back, and they brought back 15 wood, which is tremendous, right? Um, so we need that wood. We're using it right away. We're building all these tents. Let's check our people's needs. Um, so this says 31 villagers demands a housing quality of 2 for a total of 62. And unfortunately, these tents are housing quality 1. So they're not going to really do anymore. Now, I don't know how to improve the quality of this at all. So, um, that must be a research thing. I don't know. Maybe they're just saying, like, you can't get more people until you do that. But unfortunately for me... That's all I have, is the tent. Unless I overlook something. Which would not be unexpected. Alright. Let's just kind of tool around here. And... We're walking... Oh, let me go back to the map. We got the wood. Uh, let's see. What else do we want? Oh, yeah, you can just gather stone, too. Um, I'm gonna get this wood. It's so close. Like, I love the idea of just sending the scavenging parties out for things that are really, really close by. Like, just scoop up resources like this. Right now, you know, what I need would be... Wood. I could even make another expedition party and have two going out. You know? I don't know if that's a bad idea. It's sometimes hard to really see, like, what everybody is doing, but... 
they're working. I mean, obviously, there's no idlers. Yeah, but this person, like, got berries from over there, and that's not really what I want them to do ever. That was just because I was trying to chop down trees, and I must have selected some berries in the mix. But I need to boost this farm's prioritization because nobody's doing that. We did build the other kitchen. So this kitchen is making berry and this, oh, they already knew what to do. They already like alternated it. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but that's great. So that will improve their um, food variety significantly. It's almost actually there. All right, we need huts. This is what we're talking about because um, improves productivity and offers decent protection. So yeah, we need the hut because our housing quality is not meeting a standard. The food quality is almost there. Kind of. I wonder if they can make anything that's better. Like, this is... I wonder if it'll tell me, like, what the quality of it is. Hmm. Anyway. Great. Um, let me look at the map. They came back already. 12 wood. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's that? That doesn't look good. This is poison forest. Uh-oh. That's bad. We're in for some poison. Okay. So I'm going to send my group out. Uh, let's see. This is 17 hours. This is 8 hours. Let's just go to that. It's so close. And wood just seems really important. I'm not, like, upset to have a bunch of it. I wonder if you can you can deconstruct it. I wonder if you get your resources back or at what ratio or rate you get them back in. All right. I see people doing some pretty impressive walking. So I'm going to go ahead and build a road that will speed them up a little bit from uh, this storage here. And then I'm going to go all the way down and connect that. And then, let's see, what else? They're building the farm, good. We still have a surplus of food, which is good. And they finished the farm. Now we're gonna grow not beets, but I wanna grow uh, corn. Now, corn wants to be in this temperature range, and our temperature is normal. So as long as it's not freezing, you know, corn is okay. Cactus goes in the middle as well. All right, so I only have three options right now. So we're going to um, add plots. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of make these the plots for now. It's a lot. Right, they won't be able to use that much. It's interesting, you can toggle harvesting and planting. Like, if it starts to get too cold, well, I'll to toggle harvesting. But right now, they're kind of doing both, which is what I would like. We're going to have two farmers working there. And so they're just kind of, like, distributing the labor as they will. All right. And, yep, they came back with the wood, so let's just kind of jump back out to the map. And there's a shrine up there, which is cool, but I want this stone. Um, and so I'm going to send my party over there to get stone. And um, do we want to build the trebuchet thing? Oh, I need to build, like, a Anbu food place. That's interesting. So I might need to um, make a mycologist, I guess. And the mycologist needs to be on this dirt. So this seems like actually a good place for it because it needs 
this to grow, and then we want to make an Anbu kitchen. I don't have the resources for this at the moment, but we'll get there. And um, where can this go? It can go up by its head. All right, I'm just laying out the foundation for those structures. I don't actually have what I need for them, but we will eventually, hopefully. They're building the road. Ambu is marching on to the poison diligently. There goes our city, our little settlement. And um, food kind of dipped down for a moment. Okay. And they're awaiting our decision. Oh, traces of the past. Petrified footprints of an Anbu, several meters deep, mark the surroundings of the quarry. Um, we should follow the tracks to see where they lead us. We should investigate them more closely. We did not co come here to follow tracks from the past. Let's investigate them more closely. Um, nothing but stones around here. Let's grab a handful and leave. All right, well, we got stone. And that means good. Good for us. And this is what? Seven hours, 14 hours, 21 hours. Uh, let's go get some wood. Send that party. All right, awesome. So here we are. Uh, we're researching huts. We are going to build the mycologists. They're building that right now so we can start growing mushrooms to feed the ombu if we can't find enough food on the road. We are working to mitigate our food, and it's fine. Like, we have enough stored to kind of weather it, but we're going to have to maybe change things eventually. We've got the horn blower. We're building a feeding trebuchet, and things are going great. We're sending out scavenger parties, and I'm happy with our progress. This is a good place to end the episode, everyone. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, if you have any tips or suggestions, uh, please post those in the comments below. I'd love to talk to you about the game. Take care, everybody.